Good morning. I'm Leiva Ghilani and I have been working as a consultant with the Adipo Consultants as an IELTS instructor. So today we are going to talk about our IELTS speaking uh, module, basically. And whether you're giving a general IELTS or academic, it doesn't matter. The, 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 contest, the, the content remains the same. It's, uh, the test is about for four to five minutes and uh, it starts with a basic introduction of the person. The, the examiner would probably want to know about your, your name, yourself, and the first section is comprised of all about the introduction about your own self. So it's, uh, it might, the examiner would like to ask you something about like hometown, hobbies, sports, food, whatever you like, whatever you don't like, and all that uh, is related to the person giving the interview. So this can be the first section. Our IELTS speaking is basically comprised of three sections. The first, I've already mentioned, it is uh, basically all about the introduction about the person. The second thing is about the cue card. Now, what's a cue card? A cue card is something that you're given a topic and you have to talk about that topic for two minutes. Approximately two minutes, yes. And you cannot take much pauses in that time. And uh, whatever the topic may be, you would, should, be, should be able to talk more about that topic. Moving on to our section three. The section three is again related to the question and answers that were given to you in the cue card. The questions and answers are related to the cue card that was given to you in question number two. And uh, suppose, uh, have you ever been to a party that you cannot forget? Suppose this was a question given to you in, uh, in your cue card. So in question number three, in section three, you will be answering more about parties or events that you have been attending in your country, what can be done to improve it, or how extravagant the parties are, anything related to whatever you have said in the cue card. Now moving on, I would like to add on the evaluation criteria. When it comes to IELTS, it's not only about how good you know the English language, it's all about that what's the evaluation criteria in the mind of the examiner? That's the point. The first thing, they evaluate you basically for the four things. That is pronunciation, fluency, vocabulary, and grammar. So when it comes to pronunciation, it's very important that the other person can understand what you are trying to say. So if, there is, if, the, if the message has not been sent, you cannot say that communication took place. So pronunciation of a particular word is very important. Moving on to the fluency. Now fluency is quite tricky and you have to, you don't have to be like too fluent to make your point understand. You can, if you're taking too many pauses, for instance, if you're taking too many pauses regarding the question and too many, uh, mm, I don't know, mm, uh, so that's not fluent enough. So that's the point that you cannot do it while giving your speaking test. Next is vocabulary. Using words like, uh, I don't like it, that is bad, oh, he's a good boy, that's too childish and that is not appropriate when using, when giving an interview, of course. So, using appropriate, appropriate or perfect kind of uh, vocabulary is important. Moving on to our grammar. When it comes to grammar, you should be very careful of what test you are using. If you're narrating a story, you must be careful. You cannot narrate a story in a future tense or vice versa in any other reason, in, a, in any other way. Mm -hmm. So the four criteria is pronunciation, fluency, vocabulary, and grammar. As is all about basic tips and techniques. If you want to learn or pass IELTS according to your uh, required band, you need to focus on these tips, the tips that we are here to give you. So, uh, for further information, if you're, if you're interested, please contact the above mentioned uh, number and our session starts from 15th August 2017.